Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'd like to start the second session of a Let's Play by showing you guys what happens when I load the game. Because you can never be entirely certain what's going to happen. Maybe it'll drop me at exactly the spot I was standing. Maybe I'll have lost <laughs> 10 minutes of progress. You can never be certain, especially on games that use checkpoint saving. So here goes. So this is what's happened to them. I hope they do not remember this when they wake. I'm guessing the whispering is part of the hidden sarcophagus thing. Did I even need that? I don't think so. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, just short. Okay. Actually, that again. Uh, do I just jump back over? Yes. That was the incorrect button. Excuse me. Aha! Whoa. Nice. Oh no, I came in this door, so I guess we're going out this door, where the monsters burst in while everyone is trying to run away, clearly. Yeah, this guy here had uh, no chance. He's just, oh god, what is happening? They had time to see that, and they're all, no, please, not me. While these guys over here, they know what's up. They're just trying to fucking bail in this scenario. They haven't even drawn their swords. Well, none of them have drawn their swords, but still... Actually, this guy doesn't have a weapon in his scabbard. Maybe it's clip it's either clipping through his leg or they removed the model. Maybe one of the zombies stole it. The hell does... Is this the direction I meant to be going? Alright, I need to know what's up with that. Why is there a half a door down here? Huh. I can't climb up that side, but I can climb up this side. Which suggests to me that I was going in the right direction after all. That's good to know. If I let go early, then he just, uh, drops. Okay, I can't just handhold my way around there and bypass all the threats. That would be nice. fuck is going on up there? Is that just meant to be fire? I can handle this. There oh. you are! After the chamber collapsed! Are you alright? Yes! We have to stop the creatures that escaped the seal. Most of them are headed for the fortress. If I can close the gates, that will keep them from overrunning the countryside. From there, I'll have to find a way to re-imprison them all. I know a way. I have the other half of your medallion. If we reunite the pieces, it will seal the army away again. 
How do you know that? It's complicated, but I think it will work. These creatures are turning all of my men into statues. I think these medallions are protecting us. If you let go of your half, you're in danger. If we're going to reunite the pieces, I want you standing next to me. Meet me at the gates. You must be careful. I started the palace's defense system. There are traps everywhere. I noticed. You know, I was going to make a joke about how easy it would be to end the game if one of us just threw the medallion to the other right now. But that was actually a very good point that uh, Malik just made. <laughs> Without the, uh, without the medallions, we're vulnerable. I, uh, looked it up, by the way. And it was, uh, Robin Atkin Downs who replaced... Uh, Yuri Lowenthal as the prince and uh, warrior within. That game... Well, for better or for worse, uh, that game came out in 2004, and that was around the time when uh, Edgy was at its peak in terms of popularity. So they wanted to make uh, Warrior Within darker and grittier than The Sands of Time. And one of the ways they did that was by bringing in a different voice actor, who rather than this, you know youthful set of pipes, had a uh, much deeper, more gravelly voice. Robin Atkin Downs also did the voice of uh, Sean Devlin from my second Let's Play ever, The Saboteur, but he's probably more well-known these days for being the voice of the medic from Team Fortress 2. Okay, I'll just do this then. Why, hello there, Pillar. Let's just take a moment to admire it. Okay, then. Well, that doesn't seem to go anywhere right now, so let's just go over here and do that again. Huh. With that music, I was expecting bad guys to show up. I see. Ahem. I did that wrong. Oh, cool. I don't think they let you do that, the other ones. I really shouldn't do that. There's no money and there's no collectibles. And I might need those, uh things. Oh, right. Uh... Unnecessary action roll. And I'm doing it again. No, no, that's not a woman. I wasn't sure if that was, uh, long hair or a, uh, what do you call it? Not a turban, the other thing. Whoa! These gears must run the palace's defenses. They look more dangerous than the traps. The works! The works sounds like a burger with everything on it. I say for better or for worse, because the gritty tone was, uh, pretty universally unpopular with, uh, reviewers. At least when compared with the more lighthearted fantasy stuff from, uh, Sands of Time. And as I said before, the, uh, the Two Thrones kind of combined those two things, where it was much less grim than, uh, Warrior Within. 
But at the same time, it was a bit more serious than, uh... Sands of Time. Okay, can't get on that wall. So, fuck you guys, then. Oh, God! <laughs> what were you looking at anyway, stupid phase? Oh, okay, that makes a bit more sense. Am I lined up with those columns? Is that what I'm meant to be doing here? Give myself a bit of height there. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I need to aim for that and then run over to that. I wonder if you'd be able to hang on to that kind of momentum. Yeah, probably. I've heard of people uh, clinging to planes as they take off. They don't make it to the sky or anything. It's just, you know, possible for a little bit. Don't bang your shoes. other direction. Okay, fine. Now we're doing this instead. This is literally the opposite of what I hope to accomplish here. He even shot an arrow at me. Well, one of his soldiers did. In either case, it's a total breach of protocol. And how is it that when I get into these situations, I end up ordered about by women? First Pharaoh, now this. It was Farah, man. Come on. I get that it was seven years earlier, but... That you did the role, but... Actually, you know, Farah came back in, uh... The third one, didn't she? So it had only been five years. Oh, that should not have worked. Well, I didn't see anything. <clears throat> Moving right along. this, and how much goddamn time did he have on his hands? Nice. Well done, me. So I came in that way, which is now blocked off. No, it isn't. It was down there. Duh. I thought there was another place I could have jumped to, but I guess not. Where am I meant to go now? Uh, I don't think jumping at that will help. Ah! I'm pointing up and slightly to the right right now. I don't understand the directional controls on these cranks at all. What's this? 
Broken ass ladder. So what's up here? That was totally by accident, I'm not gonna lie. I say that because he made it look easy. do it. Why doesn't it always do that? With a camera angle, that makes it much easier. No. Breezy. Sucks to be you, there's no sand on this platform. Fine, I'll just kill them later. Um... Hmm, I'll be coming back to this spot. Shout out to my good friend Ronan Drake, who has a soft spot for the Sands of Time franchise, who reminded me, helpfully, that, uh... when the Prince did the Grand Rewind in the Sands of Time, uh... not only did he still have, uh... Farah's medallion on him. He still had the sand the dagger of time on him. So it seems like uh, the artifacts themselves are resistant to uh, you know, time manipulation. He also informed me that the reason there's a final boss fight with the Vizier is because he remembered everything from the time loop you erased. Or the timeline you erased, rather. What? Okay, that moves up and down, that just rotates. I mean, this position would be helpful if it was up against the wall, but it's not. Oh! Can I...? Yes. Fuck you. Ancient piece of pottery. Okay, mildly overdid it, but oh, you know, I'll allow it. It's been a while. I'm a bit rusty. In the uh, Sansa Time movie, it was uh, exactly one minute of time you can rewind. from here, so I guess I'll just have to trust.
what has this accomplished? I thought that was going to get me from up there to over there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do from here. Oh! You see? Now I can smash these things and maybe get some sand back. This is tricky. And there's the timer. So I guess I'll just call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, when we get through this room and murder those zombies. Later.